So what does this, what does it mean for factoring when you know when you expand a difference of squares, the answer is going to be the a term squared minus the b term squared. Well, when we're factoring, let's take a look at this one. So factoring obviously is doing the opposite of what you did for expanding. So we have the expanded form and we want to turn it into the factored form. So in a difference of squares, you will always have, almost always have two terms, one, two, it's going to be a difference. A difference means subtraction. subtraction. Thank you, Nolan. So, and both terms have to be perfect squares. In problem 36, is this a subtraction problem? Yes. Okay, so it is a difference. Do I have perfect squares? Yes. Yes. Is it a binomial? It does it have two terms? Okay. Yes, thank you. So, we have a difference of squares. When you factor a difference of squares, what can you tell me about the expanded form of the equation? What will it basically look like? What will it have? What do all expanded form equations have? A squared minus B squared. Parentheses. It'll have parentheses. How many pairs of parentheses will it have? Two. It'll have, it'll have two pairs of parentheses. What sign goes inside these parentheses? Plus and minus. Plus and minus. So this is going to be positive, this is going to be negative. What can you tell me about the term that's going to go here and here in a difference of squares? Brandon? Never mind, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, Ava? Um, it's going to be the square root of 144. It's going to be the square root of 144. Well, what is the square root of 144? 12. Oh, okay. 12. What's going to go here? 12, all right. If it, if it is not a perfect square, then you can't do this. Oh, okay. if, it's not, if it's not a perfect square, you're going to have to look for something else. Okay. So then, for our second term, for our second term, what are we going to put? The square root of y to the second. Yeah, the square root of y to the second. What times itself is equal to y to the second? Y. Oh. My goodness, that was awfully easy, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, so now, now we have... <laughs> 50 r to the 8th minus 32 r squared. This one is a little bit more difficult. So let's go through what we're looking for in a difference of squares. First thing we look for, is it a binomial? Yes. Yeah, it has two terms. Bi, bi meaning two. Binomial, two terms. So uh, it, it's, it's a binomial. Is it a difference? Yes. Yeah, OK. So we have a binomial, and it is a difference. The last thing is, do we have perfect square terms on either side? No. No, we don't. But wait, there's more. A couple days ago, a couple days ago, we talked about factoring out a greatest common monomial. Is there a monomial? Is there a term that goes in to 50r to the 8th and 32 r squared. Is there something that both of those share? Yes. yes. Trevor? 2 r squared. They both share 2 r squared. Okay. So remember, when you factor out a greatest common monomial, it doesn't disappear. It gets kicked out to the curb like Dino. So we have 2 <laughs> r squared. And we're going to divide both terms by 2 r squared. So 50 r to the 8th divided by 2 r squared is what? 25 r to the 6th. There you go. Incidentally, is 25 a perfect square? Yes. Yeah, it is. Is r to the 6th a perfect square? Yeah. Yeah, it is. 32 divided by 2 is? 16. Oh, my goodness. 16. That's a perfect square. r squared divided by r squared is? It's 1. It's 1. So we can't, <coughs> we're not going to write anything there because 1 times 16 is 16. And so now, looking at my binomial, do I have, do I have two perfect squares? Yes. I do. Okay. So 
the 2R squared still stays outside. Still stays outside. How many sets of parentheses will I have in a difference of squares? Ooh, two. Two. Two sets of parentheses. What sign in a difference of squares, what signs go inside the parentheses? Plus and minus. Plus and minus. All right. So what's going to go in this term? What times itself is 25? Five. Five. What times itself is r to the sixth? R to the third. Four. Nolan? R to the third. You're right. R to the third. Because r to the third times r to the third, you add the exponents, and you get r to the sixth. Incidentally, any term with an even exponent is a perfect square. Way. What is the square root of 16? 4. Four. Four. And there you have it. So the difference of squares really isn't too too complicated. It's, if you recognize that you have a difference of squares, that you're, you're in good shape. Joe? Which one is the factor formula extended form in similar in simplest form? Okay. Which is the factor form and which is the expanded form? Which one is in simplest form? In simplest form. This is the expanded form in simplest form. Because there's nothing you can do to that aside from factoring. This is the factored form in simplest terms because you cannot take out anything. The, uh, the binomial 5r to the third plus 4 does not share a term with 5r to the third minus 4. And then also 5r to the third does not share a term with 4. So you can't factor it further, so you are done factoring. Oh, I see. So they're the simplest on both Right. So these two statements are equivalent, and there's not much you can do with them. Okay. This question here is a little more complicated, and uh, I'll get into it some other time, but not now. Okay. Are there questions on factoring and expanding with a difference of squares? I want to remind you that when you have a difference of squares, in expanded form, you have essentially the same numbers in both binomials, only one has a plus sign, the other one has a minus sign. And when you factor them, or sorry, when you, uh, and so that's the factored form. In the expanded form, typically you have a binomial that has a difference, and both terms are perfect squares. This case here, this is a difference of squares and it is a trinomial, but you'll notice that you still have a difference. This is a perfect square, and this whole term here is also a perfect square. So that's why it is treated as a difference of squares. But we'll get into that some other time. Are there any last questions on differences of squares? <coughs> All right.